to talk the pleasure back into being alive. I think with me and my music, I often, I don't do many, many takes just because for me, like after three or four, I usually kind of get the energy of the sound pretty quickly. But I definitely am mindful of, of the room and of making sure that there is this very like warm, intimate feel to, to the mixes and to, you know, the vocals as I record them. I have spent some time in studios, but a lot of this record was recorded in, in apartments and that kind of served to create that kind of more bedroomy feel to the record you know i wanted it to feel as if i was singing to somebody sitting beside them in rainbows by radiohead um, is an excellent one especially in terms of the drum sounds the way that they're recorded there's this real crispness to them and also dummy by porter's head because although there are all these kind of textures and there's a sense of graininess to it you can see that it's very they're very intentional with the way that they've recorded it yeah, definitely. Um, so my dad was definitely a big fan of jazz um, and I also listened to a lot of kind of soul music and people like Otis Redding, Ella Fitzgerald um, and my mum was a big fan of Prince. She listened to a lot of kind of old French music as well, Claude Francois and Marc Lavoine and um, Serge Lama, all of that were like big parts of my, my childhood. So. so when it came to literature, film, music, I was always wanting to absorb new art, it was just something that I was very passionate about. Honestly, I think the first song that I ever wrote, I think I was probably about 14 or 15, and I just felt this sense of comfort and this sense of purpose when I was writing. There was a sense of this is something that heals me, this is something that I enjoy, and this is something that I, you know, want to pursue later on in life. And I mean, even when I started listening to vinyl, that format was really important to me when my uncle gave me his collection. There was always a sense of music being very special. Definitely, definitely. I'm a very visual person um, and I love the fact that, especially in photography, there is this sense of, of capturing a, a moment and immortalizing it in a way. And that's why I'm a big fan of photographers like Wolfgang Tillmans who kind of capture, capture the people around them in a way that feels very tender. It's almost like documenting um, the people around them and what was happening in the world. And film, of course, is a big one for me. I'm a big fan of directors like Xavier Dolan and Edward Yang and Yorgos Lanthimos, all those kind of people. And I take a lot of inspiration from, from watching films and from color palettes and characters. And, yeah. The reason why I share my music is that desire to kind of help people, that desire to connect to others. And of course there is this sense of, you know, when you're sharing something personal, you can feel quite exposed or quite, you know, naked in the eyes of the world. But I think that the best art is art that feels like you're kind of pushing, pushing at the edges of your comfort zone a little bit. And it's something that's always come quite naturally to me, so. I think it's just a day to kind of celebrate women that have brought things to the world, celebrate women who have been key in their communities, within their families, you know, just I think celebrating the power and the strength and, and the variety as well of women and what femininity means is very important. There's definitely a lot of work to be done in terms of protecting women and in terms of changing the way that women are treated within the music industry or even the way that women and their music is spoken about but i think that we're going in the right direction but there's definitely a lot of work to be done i don't like silence i'm always playing music you know if i'm doing something that requires me to be like focused then i'll still have like some kind of ambient playlist on or I'll put on an instrumental album. I always just have melodies buzzing around my head. It's definitely a constant for me. I've been listening to this album called Plantasia by Mort Garson a lot. Um, it's kind of this strange ambient instrumental record that's like meant to be played for plants or something. I don't know, it's very, it's very strange, but it's, um, yeah. it's wonderful. I've been loving that. I've been revisiting the Velvet Underground self-titled album. I've been listening to a lot of Wes Montgomery's albums. And I've also been listening to, listening to a lot of Flying Lotus. That Cosmogramma album is, is really great, I think. <laughs>
so much.